Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video is part of our guesstimate series. If you haven't checked out other questions, please check it out. Also, you can ask question you want me to cover next. So let's get started. Today's question is to estimate the length of road. As you can see, how ambiguous this question is, right? So the interviewer has left the question very open-ended. So now it is your responsibility to narrow down the scope of the problem. That is why we will start with the clarifying question. I am giving you 5 seconds to think about this and ask clarifying question to narrow down the scope of the problem. I hope you have something in your mind. So the first question which we can ask is about the geography. Are we calculating the length of road for a particular city, state or country? Let's assume that we are calculating this for a city that is Bangalore. The second question which we can ask is about what type of road are we thinking about? Because there are different type of roads like public road or private road. By private road, I mean there are a lot of big residential complexes and apartments in Bangalore. So there are road within these big apartments and there are pathways as well. So let's assume that we are only thinking about the public roads in Bangalore. So I think we have fair amount of idea about the problem. I am assuming that we are thinking about the concrete road and not the unmetalled one. So let's form a goal of the problem. The goal of the problem is to estimate the length of a concrete public road in Bangalore. Yes, that is our goal. First, let's start with the high level equation and the walkthrough of the solution. Since we have to calculate the length of the road in Bangalore, we will start with the area of the Bangalore and that area can be divided into forest area, residential area, roads, commercial area, wetland area. I think these are the major ones. If you have any other area in mind, put that into comment section. The area which is covered by the road can be further divided into two broad major categories. That is double lane road and single lane road. I know there can be other type of roads as well, but for the sake of simplicity, I have broken down into two categories only. That is double lane road and single lane road. If you got the area of the double lane road and single lane road, we would be able to get the length of the road, right? So let's understand this. If you see in this picture, you know the area corresponding to the road. And if you assume that the width of the road, we would be able to get the length of the road, right? Because the area of the rectangular is around breadth into height and see this rectangular, the road can be treated as a rectangle. Area equal to length into width and length equal to area divided by width. So for double lane road, we can assume that the width to be around 40 meters. If we know the area, we would be able to easily get the length of the double lane road. So this is the concept. So if we know the area corresponding to double lane road and single lane road, we would be able to get the length of the double lane road and the single lane road. Once we get the length of the double lane road and single lane road, we will add it and get the total length of the road in Bangalore. So I hope you are with me till now. Let's start putting those numbers. So area of Bangalore is around 800 km square. This area is bifurcated into five different areas. Let's assume that 20% of the area is forest or plantation area. That is around 160 km square. Then 30% belong to residential area. That is around 240 km square. Road contribute to around 20% of the area. That is around 160 km square. Commercial area contributes around 20% because there are a lot of tech bar, shopping mall, cafes. That is around 160 km square. And the wetland area contribute to 10% as there are a lot of lakes in Bangalore that is around 80 km square. Then we need to double click on the area occupied by the road that is 160 km square. Assume that out of all the total area occupied by the road, double lane road occupies 70% and single lane road occupies around 30%. The area occupied by the double lane road would be around 112 km square and the area occupied by the single lane road is around 48 km square. Now to get the length of the double lane road, we assume that the width of the double lane road is around 40 meters. So to get the length, we would divide the area by width as explained earlier. So the length of the double lane road would come around 2800 km and similarly to get the length of the single lane road, the area would be 48 km square and will be divided by 0.02 as we are assuming that the single lane road are 20 meter wide. So this will give you total length of the single lane road to be around 2400 km. 
now what we'll do we'll add both so adding both of them will give you around total length of the road to be around 5200 km i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have any question please do comment in the comment section till then keep learning and keep watching